type in this video I will show you how to configure the HVAC module when you complete your installation uh, you should have a DLP one DLP unit as well as one air, air, air conditioning module the air conditioning modules as you can see I when I scan my network it shows me here it will scan all my devices so this is my network all my device in, in the same network uh, here we can see there is a HVAC module the numbers is 155 as well as I have a DLP here it's called master DLP like here master bedroom uh, let's go for HVAC when you complete your wiring installations and all you just come you, you start doing the configurations the configuration is very simple the each, each modules of of each DL it has a broadcast button in that broadcast button you just keep pressing for a while like four seconds and using this modify address long press the button uh, it's mentioned here you can press on that broadcast button and the numbers of of the D of each VAC modules will come over here I uh, just to show you that this is the module the right one you are configuring because when you pair the DLP and air, air conditioning module it has to be on the same room so make sure to, to press the broadcast buttons to know which air conditioning you are going to program, to start program. So example, this one is in our master bedroom and this DLP as well in the master bedroom. So I want to pair these two devices to work together. Uh, the DLP as a thermostat and air conditioning as a controller. Uh, so when you complete your installations, you go through the HVAC module. HVAC modules, you can see the part numbers here, HB, DM, HVAC, Smart, Bus, DINRAIL, HVAC. The subnet ID is 1, device ID is 65, example. We can change this device ID if we would like to change. Uh, we can also put some remark here, like master bedroom, AC. It's a matter of labeling, uh, in case tomorrow or later on you come to scan your network. Uh, later on you can be able to define uh, it's a matter of uh, or just as a labeling uh, it's a better to keep always labeling here easy for you to access and easy for you uh, to keep the other engineers to follow whatever you you have done so we put the master bedroom here AC as a tag here we can change the address if we like to change the subnet ID and device ID as well uh, we go to the second page here is called setting in this setting it's very simple here we have device ID is 155 the modules we are working in if you have many HVAC you can still browse it from here you have a list of HVAC modules uh, testing command the testing command when you complete your installations and you want to make sure that everything is working you can go here and, and select whatever cooling heating or fan and you can select also the speed high or low or whatever and you can press test when you press test it will it will send the command to your HVAC module to run the AC in cool and and the fan on a medium this always we do as a just a testing to s to, to make sure that your wire and, and are correct with the HVAC uh, engineers or uh, the commissioning person you always make sure to give him all the speed medium high and low to double check your connection is done properly when you press test of course now my my ac is turned on in cooling and it's running on a medium medium speed uh, you, you you can see here there is air conditioning delay the delay we use it uh, normally we use this delay uh, for a startup and also the compressor switch off delay what i mean by compressor startup delay and compressor switch off delay uh, example when someone switch on the the DLP or switch on the AC example from the DLP it will take four seconds to run up to take this command it take a four second why we use this four second it's a matter of protection because when someone turn on and turn off it may damage your compressor in the same time that's why we keep some delay when you press you may wait for a four second to turn on and if you press on and off so nothing will be done after four second the AC will turn on as well as here when you turn off uh, it will take two seconds to turn off you may change your mind and you don't want to, to turn it off it just by mistake you press so uh, the compressor will not be affected by on off on off on off command so we always keep it as three or four seconds here you can put a minute 
and here you can use the second so we always keep just the second because people cannot wait for two minutes to explore under 18 this is also the fan startup delay and the fan switch off delay as well as we can put also some protection here like a three second to protect our fan uh, from any freaks or something that people are to play on the switch uh, in case you have some guests or whatever who to play with the switch so at least you have some small protection uh, well whatever you change here always you keep pressing save on this uh, uh, on this option here we have the VIV fan voltage setting the VIV as you can see in down in the HVAC modules we have a VIV 0 to 10 connection the 1 to 10 connections we use it always to keep the VIV uh, open from 0 to 100 uh, in, 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 in in separate uh, or, or, or in let's see a three speed or three variable speed we have low medium and high as well as you can see here we have one volt four volt and nine volt so nine volt means the viv uh, will open the shutter will open for 90 percent four it will open 40 percent one will open just 10 percent so usually we use three percent or 3 volts sorry 30 percent 6 percent uh, 60 percent 90 percent or 100 percent means 10 volts so this is based on your uh, cfm calculations of the room the size of the room and the ac uh, because the viv normally used to treat the airflow in separate separate rooms or separate separate areas mainly we use it for offices and all so in case you have a viv you can select the voltage of the opening the opening of the shutter based on the cfm and the airflow this is just the airflow control uh, as here when you finish always save uh, as you see here we have some options called ac mode configuration the ac mode configurations as you can see in the hvac modules we have three outputs the three outputs you can configure it as cool one cool two and the heat as you can see here we have cool one cool and heat as well switch one switch two switch three because it's built in three relays as you can see here if you have two stage machine you can use the two two switch one and switch two stage one and stage two as a switch two and if you have a heat as well so you can use a switch three for a heating if you have only single stage you can use only these two functions here you can use the heat and you can configure this too this is normally we configure this if we have if we have uh, let's see um, uh, example uh, if you run your EC on auto mode on auto mode we always keep the machine take a rest for five to ten minutes in a cycle in a sequence so what we can do we always configure here some uh, particular times like 45 minutes so the EC will run for 45 minutes and he again skip off it will turn off for a five minute again we'll run for a 50 45 minutes and it will turn off for a five minutes this is we do this cycle unless uh, only if you are using uh, auto if you you select your speed of fan or you speed or the mo the mood you will always go uh, uh, normal but only if you use auto uh, means speed and uh, and and as well as the mode you put it auto on the dlp it will run in a sequence based on this configuration we recommend to have 45 minutes the first five minutes 45 and five so you just always give the compressor uh, uh, five minutes of, of rest just for a matter of protection as well uh, this is all what you be done uh, uh, what you can do on, on on ac modules hvac modules very simple setting very simple process uh, process as well as well as here we can go to the dlp now to pair this air conditioning module to the DLP. So the our DLP is 1.8, so I can open it. You can see here we can put the label, master, bed, room, DLP. We can see, you can have, have a look here, we all almost been changed to master bedroom DLP. Uh, this is the MAC address of the device. This is the backlight of the DLP. We can talk about in the other videos. You can see the other videos about the DLP. Uh, what is the meaning of backlight and LED. Uh, as well as we can change the address here. Uh, let's go to the, the air conditioning page. Since DLP are having seven pages, 
uh, four for uh, uh, lighting, uh, security and all, and we have one for air conditioning, one for music, and one for floor heating, as well as we can add a play to it. In the air conditioning functions, as you can see here, we can have a basic information of the device. This is some basic information about the device. It's a submit ID 1, device ID 8. Here we have basic information of air conditioning as well. So here we can put the numbers of the HVAC module, 155. Now when you add 155 and you save this, it will always pair with that HVAC module. Now they can work together as uh, one controller. Uh, as you can see here, we have some temperature adjust panel temperature sensor. We can calibrate the the panel uh, of the DLC panel temperature sensors. We can put minus five, plus four, plus five, minus five, and whatever. So we save that. As well as here, we have test and control sections. The test and control sections, as you can see, this is the AC power always on. If you off, you mean you disable it. We have lock the page or unlock the page. You can lock and unlock the page if you want. Here you can have some cool temperature set point, heat temperature set point as well. We have auto temperature, dry temperatures. All this setting, it's up to you. You can configure it based on your uh, uh, requirement. We have a fan speed and we have a note here and this options as well we can test the module we can also send him uh, as you can see here running mode status now it's medium cool it's a cool and the fan speed is medium i can also keep it in cool and keep the speed as high when i save this now it will change now it is changed to high cool uh, just for also testing you can double check that you are you are connected to the right HVAC module, the right one. Uh, you can also uh, see the actual uh, temperatures of the room, 25 degrees. Uh, we have a second option here, it's called a broadcast temperature. The broadcast temperatures, we use it to broadcast the DLP temperatures to other modules, like touchscreen, uh, uh, iPad, or, or to other DLPs to broadcast the temperatures to, to the logic modules. So the logic modules, when this temperature of this room is this much, so close the curtains, do that, do that. So we use this broadcast to get the information of the, the, the current temperatures of that room. So usually if you want to use it, or we can see in the advanced training. Uh, as you can see here in this, in this areas, we have a, sl uh, a slave information. What is uh, meaning by slave information? Example, if I have uh, a, a kid's room or child room and they have their own AC controller, I can also uh, slave their page of AC to be shown on my DLP. So I can have a right to control that room, to monitor that room, to see my child uh, temperatures, control it from my master bedroom without going and disturb them and change. Even if they change, they can still uh, be aware about temperatures uh, in their rooms, the modes and everything. So here we can uh, select one of the AC uh, uh, slave number one, let's see, we submit and we can put the, the DLP uh, of that room. We can put the DLP numbers, device ID of that room. So we can pull all the information to our uh, DLP to, to monitors and, and, and all. So we can save it if we have some other DLP to pull the temperature from, so we just save it here. We have site limit control. The site limit control, we use this to synchronize uh, the, the temperatures of my AC. Let's see, I have two DLP in the same room and these two DLP are controlling the same machine. So what I have to do, I just synchronize these two temperatures to give me the average, the average temperature in the room. Because of course, if you keep uh, uh, the two DLP inside the room and it's too far, uh, of course, there is a two or three degrees inside the room, it will be a different uh, based on the flow, uh, the supply and returns and all that stuff. So the rooms always having some w plus two or plus three temperatures. So the DLP it has the option to synchronize between two DLP to give you the right temperatures in between, the average. So all your DLP will go to the average. 
will work as an average. Uh, we have second thing here is called the IR uh, infrared control. If you have a sleep uh, uh, decorative unit with the remote control, you still can read the code using the I inf infrared learner. When you read all the codes of this remote control, we will show you in the other video the of infrared uh, emitter. You can just press on off command and give the numbers of that IR. Let's see one and whatever the IR emitter uh, number, device ID, uh, example 80, number 80, and we select the universal switch we want to start, like universal switch number one, and you say on. So now this this DLP will work through infrared, not through the module, not the HVAC module. If you have infrared option, as well as you can control through this infrared controller. So before we have to go and read the, uh, the IR emitter, and we can apply it here based on universal switch. You have the set point and everything over here. Whatever options you, pr uh, you, you, you select from here, you have to give the, the universal switch of that IR emitter, which is uh, in the HVAC module. I can show you uh, uh, the IR emitter, how it looks like. We have some IR uh, infrared signal emitters here. This is why we call it IR emitter. By very simply, I just said this. You can see it in the other video, how we, we configure this IR emitter. Uh, whatever we, we, we read uh, uh, from the IR uh, learner, it will be shown here as a database so we just have to throw it here. You can see the universal switch over here, whatever, like office Samsung on and off. This is means on and off for the Samsung TV, so universal switch number one. So anytime you press, it, it send this command as universal switch. We call it universal switch. Uh, we'll go back to the DLP. Uh, we have to go back to the DLP, air conditioning. The air conditioning phase, if you are using the IR, it's completely the same. You can still set up your graphics of that, that, that phase as a default, or you still can also do a setup. You can load a page here, whatever icons you want to use here, and select what is the function you want to send. Auto, so you can select uh, some pictures of auto, so you still can upload a photo or pictures. By double click, you can pull any photos or, 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 or pictures on the same size and black and white color. As well as display pictures you can configure. You can see here, clear the photo, uh, send the photo to the DLP. And that's it. Uh, we will talk about the infrared emitters and infrared, uh, infrared options in the other videos.